Day two Cancun. Let's go. Creatine. Let's go. All right, so um, yesterday we did 9.6K in total revenue. And um, yeah, it was a really good day in terms of shipped revenue and finally uh, in my pocket Amazon revenue. We did like an all time high yesterday of the, the, the of 4.7K of commissions paid out yesterday which is incredible. I've never seen a number that high. So pretty hyped about that. But in terms of shipped revenue yesterday, it only translates to about 4,000. Um, Media Vine at 4,300. Fan Fuel Cell Health at about 500. And OnlyFans at about uh, 240. I think we've leveled out. Um, and OnlyFans will probably pay out anywhere from 6 to 10K a month, which... We take those, we take those. All right, so how I calculated 4K for the um, yesterday's payment, as always, showing you the earnings, ordered revenue, 76K. Very, very rough math, so I just took the average of these two, 4K, mine. Um, quick update on the F challenge. Still 29th place, wish I could see more. Hopefully we hit top 20 soon um, before the challenge ends, but uh, not holding my breath. So what did Janice and I do yesterday? We ended up hitting the gym and then we just kind of hung around the pool with the rest of the people who were are attending the wedding. And yeah, in the afternoon, every, uh, Janice and I came back to the room. She tried to take a nap. I did a bit of work and yeah, it was a pretty chilled day yesterday. Um, I wasn't able to get much work done. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, one issue I ran into was uh, for partnership number three, or I don't know which number we're on, partnership number three, I believe, uh, we ran into an issue where the business wants to insert manually uh, banner ads for uh, their own like partnerships with brands, their own brand deals pretty much. Um, and Mediavine wants exclusivity, but uh, we're going to try to get around that by manually inserting them using uh, Google Ad Manager. So we're trying to figure that out right now. It's uh, pretty annoying, but I think it's fine. And besides that, lots of keyword research lately. Um, yeah, we're really scaling up the content production for the these partnerships really exciting right um yesterday i also had a call which i mentioned and we ended up agreeing on certain terms for the partnership so i'm uh we'll probably get started on that this week but ah with the wedding and everything i don't really have time to sit down and uh, draft up a contract but uh hopefully i can get it done these next couple of days all right, um, since you guys really liked yesterday's episode where I showed you a little neat little growth hack for local SEO, I thought I'd share um, my favorite vendors for tier three or tier two links. Um, yeah, one of my favorites is actually this this random guy I found on Black Hat World, which is it's, the, the service called Kevin's PBN. Um, very sketchy. Uh, the the actual links you get are very dirty, so I would never point them directly at my site unless it's your competitor's site. But um, yeah, the price per link is absolutely insane. So it's a thousand PBN backlinks, so a, a thousand posts for thirty three dollars US. Dude, inflation is completely canceled with this order. So uh, what's spin tax? S some people may ask. Um, I had this question. I don't know if you do. But uh, let's use an example, um, best SEO companies. You could do best SEO companies, SEO companies, and SEO. And then click generate spin tax, copy it in here. And this will be the keyword. URLs could be like indexy, 
dot com indexy dot com slash seo indexy dot com slash seo slash best something like that uh generate spin tax and then copy paste it into the url order it bada bing bada boom done um so that's how i would tier it typically with the keywords that i pick for uh tier twos you can go really aggressive one of my what i've noticed is uh, penalties don't transfer more than one domain. So, for example, um, tiering, you can go pretty aggressive. Um, it really ruins the tier one links, though. So, if you bought f links from a friend, uh, did some link exchanges, maybe don't destroy their domain, you know, because uh, that'll negatively impact them. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is to add an extra layer. For example, if you're doing local SEO and you want to tier it. Uh, let me give you a real life example of what we did for a construction company in Miami, which helped them rank in like three days in the top three in this local uh, snack pack. So um, first what we did was we created a bunch of these, these type of uh, pages. It's like web 2.0 pages. This is a Google business site, I believe. And uh, yeah, you just create it like so. Um, it's quite fairly easy to create. Um, we kind of used it as uh, a tier one for our uh, the other business. Um, let me show you the types of links. So I, I bought links from Kevin's PBN. And here are the type of quality links you can expect. Um, so you can see I checked through in Ahrefs. Check the referring domain. Wow, look at that. Um, DR is high. But the quality of links is absolutely garbage so you can see that while um site obviously looks like a pbn but hey we're uh, we don't care about that here um so what the extra complexity i added was at the end of my uh, order in the additional details which you can add here and also i messaged the vendor on skype i think you can find his skype somewhere in here um you say hey could you please embed this in every single post that you post for me. And this is just adding on to yesterday's episode where I told you guys that you can add um, like schema plus in Google Maps embed. So let's take a look at exactly how that looks on the page. So okay, you link out to the the business site I mentioned earlier. And you add the it's like pretty much a citation as well. And notice the final URL is unlinked, so you can't get hit with any penalties. Um, this site has, this business has since gone under in terms of bankruptcy. It was mismanaged, so it's it's gone now. But uh, this ranked, this helped us rank in like two days. So pretty insane. Uh, I hope I was able to explain it properly. Uh, but another thing I wanted to call out was this site is now 404. But it used to rank for their target keywords. Look, carport and pergola builder, 200 searches a month, position seven with the shitty 2.0 link, uh, shitty 2.0 asset, and only with garbage uh, Kevin's PBN. And I think it's because uh, this is this is like a Google page builder, and they're pretty more. I think I think they're much more resilient so you can go really heavy and aggressive with like dirty ass links and it would work well. So uh, time for your guys' questions. Um, if you have watched up until here and like this type of format where I just uh, talk about my day, talk about yesterday's revenue and then drop maybe one or two small growth hacky stuff uh, that I've used in the past in terms of SEO, let me know that you like this. Just say comment good stuff or the best SEO, you know, try to game the algorithm with me. I don't know. Um, but if you have any questions about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. And yeah, I'll answer them in the next video. So I'm just going to do the screen recording and go through the questions rapid fire style. Um, this guy asks, do I always fly business or first when traveling? No, I didn't actually do it until recently. Um, Call it lifestyle inflation. I don't know. Uh, we started booking more business class flights. We book it on the Amex. Um, not really using points. We do have a lot of points for when we're ready to use them. Just not now for some reason. I don't know. Uh, just too lazy. Should new languages, they're going to launch 
a site into new markets? Should the new languages be on a subdomain or separate sites that link back? Um, I'm a huge advocate of subdirectory, so try that. If you had to build this uh, site from scratch today, what topic would you in, uh, or industry would you target? So I would go after these really boring businesses in Canada, actually. So I would try to go uh, create a directory for like plumbers or directory for real estate agents and then just try to sell them on placements on this directory. Um, much easier. I would try to rank first and then sell. Uh, but that's what I would do if I had to had to start a site from scratch. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, I've, I, I read every single comment. So um, yeah, thanks guys. I've been in FBA space for many years, but new to SEO affiliate game. Um, do you offer coaching? Any courses or masterminds you recommend? Uh, no coaching. That is not worth my time. You should be. You guys should be careful with people who offer coaching because if they're really doing as well as they are, why would they offer coaching? It doesn't even make sense. Like I just talked about how I'm, I made 9K yesterday in my sleep. Why would I offer coaching at like 100 bucks an hour? It doesn't make sense. Any courses or masterminds you recommend? Um, we have a, the Advise community, which linked down in the description, which I, I guess is some sort of mastermind community. Um, conversation there are very high level, like uh, very, very high level. So check that out. Um, courses. I'm not a huge course guy. I believe you can learn anything online by yourself. Right. Uh, thank you guys. Really, really appreciate these. Um, shout out to Mo for asking a question every single video, but not yesterday's. I don't know what's going on. Um, Robert SEO case study asks, I know that you can't share the agreement with partnership sites, but can you give us a few examples of clauses you think are really important? Um, yes, of course. So, Two things that are very important is one, you have to own the IP to the content you create. So what that means is um, if they fire you, if they break any of the contract, uh, they have to either buy the IP of the con uh, content you create or they have to take it down. Um, so that just like puts an extra level of complexity for them. It's just, you know, it's just more hurdles for them to jump through. And two is uh, if they break any part of the contract, like they don't want to work with you anymore. You have to have residuals. So what that means is they still have to pay you out for the next like two years. Um, our contract states, they have to pay us out two years after they want to cancel. Um, and, uh, it's like a reducing amount. For example, first 12 months they have to pay us a hundred percent of the income that the content would generate. And then in the second year, it would be like 50% or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's very, very important that you have some sort of these agreements in place. Uh, otherwise, people will screw you real good. Duh, duh, duh. Thanks, Mo. Thank you. Ryan asks, local question, are you using P local PBN, uh, typical PBN providers? Yes, I just highlighted uh, Kevin's PBN. Uh, that's dog shit, but it works very well. Are you duplicating the content for each PBN. So I guess Ryan assumes I'm creating a PBN f for internal uses. We have some PBNs, but we're not really using it right now. Um, mostly because we don't have the time to manage it. It's, it's just as simple as that. Um, but if I were to do everything again, I would, so I would focus on a niche. For example, um, if I were to create a PBN, I better be only servicing lawyers from now on. And then I would just create a network of niche sites in the law space, but ranking for like long tail keywords. So they actually have traffic, throw display ads on them and use that as like a PBN. Um, build out like a real site, but use that like as a PBN. Hope that makes sense. Thank you. For the PBN stuff, you mean uh, at each post we publish? Yeah, yeah, this is for a single post. Thank you, Annetta. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Chris asks, um, if we're just collecting the revenue and then paying out the partner, um, how do we do reporting? Honestly, it's a pretty much a handshake deal. Um, if I wanted, really wanted to screw someone, I could, but like that's so short-sighted, like that, that wouldn't work. Uh, Peter W with a GS, not even a good stuff. Thank you, I guess. Appreciate the sub. My buddy says Janice Anta Kumpo. I don't know why he said that. Um, and that's it. That's all for the questions today. If you guys have any other questions, if you like this format, 
let me know. Um, dude, this takes like an hour of my time every morning. So I uh, would appreciate if you guys, if you watched up until now, just leave any comment. Just say like good stuff once again, please. Thank you.